Hey everyone, Garrett here from iCode the Web, and this new series I'm starting is going to be called Web Trends. Uh, so different trends that you might find uh, around the internet, things that are in style now, I guess, for web design. And the first one we're going to talk about, talk about this week is box shadow or a drop shadow. Now, a drop shadow you actually see every day if you have a Mac. Um, every window when you have it selected, like so, has a drop shadow around the edge. And you can use drop shadows to make things really, really interesting, fun, and lively, and just look very modern and aesthetically pleasing. So here's the code for a box shadow right here. I'm actually using this on my own website, garrettlove.com. And uh, I will put this code in the description so you don't have to go and type it out. You can just go and copy and paste it. But basically, this right here, this line here is the standard CSS uh, drop shadow code. And then this addresses WebKit, which makes sure that um, browsers like Safari and Chrome uh, can use it. And then this is for Mozilla. And this stuff back down here that kind of looks like uh, a different language almost is for Internet Explorer. Uh, so, of course, Internet Explorer doesn't really look like anything else. But um, it's kind of weird. And it does work, though. It actually works pretty well. So uh, let's look at some examples. So the first one we're going to look at is actually my own website, GarrettLove.com. And this we have uh, up here, the top, my, my uh, navigation bar is a static navigation bar, which means it has a fixed position and it doesn't move. And as you scroll down, it will stay with you in the same spot. And I use a drop shadow on that as well as every one of my posts. So our next one is in gadget and they use drop shadows also on all of their posts just like I do um, theirs is a little bit more faint kind of it's hard, a little harder to see than on mine here but nevertheless they also use them uh, next is actually Apple if you've ever been over to Apple's website you'll see that if you scroll all the way down to this area on the home page uh, they actually use drop shadows for each one of these four uh, boxes both on the bottom the left the right and a little bit on the top and actually when you hover over something that's actually an inner drop shadow so it's the same kind of thing except it just goes inside instead of out of the box and it looks kind of nice uh, next is um, well up here in the northeast northeast united states uh, we have our the biggest cable and internet provider i think is comcast xfinity by comcast and their website here is actually full absolutely full of drop shadows you can see one here um, on each one of these panels on the side uh, it, actually in, in the buttons too I mean it's just full of drop shadows all over the place so as you can see they add a lot a lot of depth to the um, there's nothing there they add a lot of depth to what you're looking at so just thought I should share that with you guys come back every other week is when I'm gonna come out with the web trends or web styles so um, come back in two weeks and you'll be able to see the next web trends or web style and next week we're going to have something else that I've been working on so stay tuned for that as well so thanks for watching subscribe comment rate and I will see you guys next week bye bye